All right, this video is for um, T, uh, A10D. And what this is talking about is distributing, um, practicing on it, really it's just distributing. All right, so whenever we have a parentheses, is a big clue when you're going to distribute. Uh, and you always want to look to see if there's an operation between the number and the parentheses. So for example, if I had something like this, then I would not distribute because I have a plus sign between the number and the parentheses. All right, but I don't. So this right here, there's no plus or minus between the three and the parentheses, so I'm going to distribute. So I'm going to distribute, take the three, and I'm going to multiply it to the x, so I get 3x. Then I'm going to take the three and I'm going to multiply it to four, which will give me three plus three times four is 12. And this is my answer when I distribute. Notice I distribute to everything inside the parentheses. All right, we don't do it to just the x. We do it to the x and the four. All right, so I have another problem here. Now here's uh, we have a trinomial inside the parentheses, and we have a negative two on the outside. So we're going to distribute. And remember, the sign follows the two. So if I multiply the two, I'm multiplying the negative as well. So a negative two times four. Well, that would be a negative 8, and there's an x squared on that. Then we take the negative 2, and we multiply it to negative 3. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive, and 2 times 3 is 6, and it has the letter x on them as well. All right, we have one more. Take the 2 and multiply it to the 7. Well, 2 times 7 is a negative 14. Now, there right here is my answer. It's my polynomial after I distribute. Let's try one more. All right, in this case, I have a couple of parentheses. So because I have a couple of parentheses, then i got to watch out. All right, so I'm going to distribute a negative 4 to the first parentheses, and I'm going to get negative 12x. Then I'm multiply negative 4 to the negative 2, and I'm going to get a positive 8. Now the next part, I'm not going to distribute the 2. I'm going to distribute the negative 2 to the x, and that will give me a negative 2x. And then negative 2 times 4, that gives me a negative, oops, negative 8. Now I can combine like terms. You remember the terms? Uh, so I'm looking for when, like this x's, I'm going to combine the x's together and the numbers together. So here is a negative 12x, there's a negative 2x. So a negative 12x and a negative 2x. And if I want to, I could write it like this. So I find this easier to write. And this gives me a negative 14x. And then the other one, if you can see, I have a positive 8 and a negative 8. Well, that's 0. And since that's 0, and I'm just going to go ahead and write it anyway, positive 8 minus 8 equals 0. When I put these two together here, I'm really just going to have an answer of negative 14x. So negative 14x is my polynomial after I've distributed and simplified the problem.